All right, this is a neck jig that I've made out of parts as parts. I mean, chipboard crap, aspenite, whatever it is. Uh, two by four that's trimmed down, two by four that's cracked and broken. Pieces of half, pieces of quarter, pieces of, I don't know, paneling, pieces of, I mean, everything. Mishmash, oak, I don't know. Piece of cedar, a block at the end. Basically, it fits a 25 and a half inch neck with some kind of headstock. It kind of wedges in between all these pieces. I wedge the pieces on either side to move it to either side of the other. Right now, I just took it from here and runs, see it runs in there. And it stops on these blocks. That's, I'm using that. I mean, I use both routers. I use, I used to use this router all the time. It's much better, but for stuff like this small enough, I can use this. And let's see. See, now it's got a, a channel like that, just enough to drop it in, and a channel like that. And they're both about the same. That's got to come down a little deeper. I didn't want to go too far because I wasn't sure what's going to go on but here um here just throw this in here for now now throw all this out of the way i just want to fit the size roughly the size like this oh see the size like that which is pretty damn close and the size like this, which is pretty damn close. Now, as far as the height, well, the thing is, I'm going to do a top mount. If I do a top mount, I need a bit of angle. That's all to be determined. That's something, I mean, I'm close enough now. I've actually dropped this. i got to drop the... Uh, See how high I am? I gotta drop the pocket, which I was going to anyway. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. This is the jig that makes the, the next thing. That's how I do it. So when it drops in, it drops in right on top of here on both sides and it fits snug. Okay.